you, folks? Could be better. <laughs> What's going on tonight? Um, my daughter took off from her uncle and aunt's house. I had work. I came here. Um, she, she wanted to McDonald's to take her to give her a ride to McDonald's to get them some dinner and stuff. I get back and she's gone, just completely <laughs> disappeared. This ever happened before? A couple years ago, yeah. And this at we that time, it. her dad took her. Okay. Um, she got a driver's license? No. Nope. She does she have a Michigan ID. She's not. She don't have a driver's license or anything. Okay. Um, she is on foot, but I have a feeling somebody obviously picked her up. Probably. It's Friday night, and it's 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah. So we have a picture of another guy that been hanging out his name is Shane. And I just found out this kid's 19, too. Yeah, this is, he took, this she, is they told me that she was, he was 17. But he's actually 19. This is who she's in a relationship with. And I had called and asked him. I said, I said, is Tori with you? And he said, no. And then my fiance's dad had called him back and said, <laughs> Is Tori with you? He said, no. And he was like, what street are you on? And the dude says, I don't know what street I'm on. But he says he's at his ex-girlfriend's mom's house right watching there. some kids. So, okay, how do you not know? How do you not know can, what street you're on? I can hear you. You don't have to yell. <laughs> I know you're trying to talk over them, but the neighbors, the neighbors are hearing everything you say. So. Um, well, did you, how long ago did she take off? Now it's, say, about 45 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. Um, she has health issues, so she took none of her medical supplies with her or nothing. Okay. Um, well, what, what do you want done here? I, I mean, are you, here's the, here's the issue. Can I file her as a runaway? Because yeah, since we, this has been an issue before, I would like something done with her. I can't keep doing this. I'm a single mom trying to, you know. Where did she, where did she leave from here? Yeah, yeah she here. Left, she, was on, she was on my back porch on her phone, and, like, we went back there to make sure she was back there because uh, she got all dialed up today. She took a shower at 12 o'clock today after she was talking to the dude that I just showed you on the phone. She didn't go to school. Huh? She didn't have school today. She they don't. got back and went to go back and talk to her because she works in the morning, so she goes to school, which we watch her now that it's the weekends and stuff. She goes back there, she's gone. And there's only two ways to go from behind my house. You've got to go either this way. Or that way, because I'll catch you coming out of my driveway. Okay. And you took off on a bike. Is there a reason, like, does she... Well, I told her she couldn't go see that guy. I don't know who he is. He's been over here a couple times. Dustin, they met him. They said he was a good kid. He seemed up the up, you know. He told me... I was told that he was 17. Uh, And I told her, I said, no, I don't want you going over to his house. I don't know him. I don't know his parents. Wait till I have some time off. Today was supposed to be my day off. I got called into work. Okay. So I went to work. And I told her if I got out early enough, I'd go with her to meet his grandparents and stuff. Of course, at that point, I'd ask questions. How old is he? Is he really this? You know. Where does he live at? Over off of Pleasant Grove. She, she's the um, one that wanted to know. Police had made contact with him before because there was an issue at school where he had threatened another student that he was going to come to school and shoot him up. So Chief Peacock had made contact, and I was just trying to get an address for you from him, and they were supposed to call me back with the address, or they said to give you the number, and they can give you the address if you wanted to make contact. The last I knew he stayed with his his grandma and his grandpa. Wait, you don't have that address? No, I don't have that address. Uh. Well, let me do this. Let me go get the paper. There's a form that we got to fill out for a runaway. This is my issue. I don't have a problem taking the report for you. This is what's probably going to happen, though. Is she going to show up in a couple, couple hours? Is she normally? What time is she normally? No, she literally ran away and never came back. Yeah. Really found her. How come? Her. How come there's no? I just looked and there's no other runaway report. Dewitt didn't follow her as a runaway at that time, I guess. Because well, I made the report with DeWitt because I live in DeWitt. Okay, well, maybe DeWitt, but Lansing. She never ran away in Lansing. No, never in Lansing. Okay. She did make, there is a report through DeWitt where through she DeWitt. has ran away. They came to my house you, at midnight. How many times do you think that she's ran away? Once. That was the very first time. That's when her dad took her. Came to my place, picked her up, and took her. Okay. That's why I'm having a feeling either it's the same kid or she's back with her dad. 
So she has a chance she could just be with her dad. Yeah. Right, which he's on the run. He has a PR $5,000 yeah, bond. He, he, for him he, for yeah, you guys are already looking for him because he made a hit and run for Please. drunk driving. Yep. He's already on the Thomas Herbst. Where's he with that? Uh, he was living on Douglas with his mom. But my mom and him kicked him out after he had was drunk driving and smacked the truck and made the truck roll. Over right there off, off of, uh, by, um, I know it's, what street does Crystal live on? No. Uh, is it the trailer park? No, it was off the street, off of Martin Luther King there, past Mary Street. Um, it's one of the little side streets there. South Ridge. South, South Ridge. Ridge. There was a big accident over at Southbridge where he put a mother and her five-year-old son in the hospital. Uh, and well, it seems to me to like I was... One day, so... Yeah, I was... Uh, he didn't show up to court for that. Yeah. He had a warrant for that, too. And, yep. he had, and then he was supposed to appear in court on another charge. That was a domestic, though. Yeah. That was... I that was because of the whole fight did out. Did he get arrested? Because that was, he, that was he, my... did, he did get arrested, and then they let him out of jail on a five thousand dollar bond, Fine. and that's what he did the whole. Where did he get arrested from? I, because the name, I'm the one that arrested him. Uh, I just can't picture the face, and I don't know. I don't know where he was arrested <laughs> from. I just heard things. Oh, he, are you talking about on the domestic call? Yeah, yeah, the one he just said court for on Monday. Yeah, it's, that was that was out this up like out on by Turner Street or somewhere, just around there, because that's where he said he caught the domestic. But see, he said. That he was defending himself. We didn't know it was a domestic. But yeah, so now you guys are looking for that, for a warrant for that, and then for sure, ball guy. Yep. yep. Yeah, I know he is now. Yeah. So, so I have a feeling he, she could either be with him because he's on the run, and she knows she has a good chance of hiding with him. Because nobody can find him. Nobody. But we can't. So he doesn't. Nobody here even knows. He won't even contact nobody. And, I mean, he, he's not the great daddy neither because he'll feed her alcohol and drugs at the same time, too. Yeah. That's what happened last time he took her, and then he got a slap on the hand by the judge last time he took her. All right. Well, obviously, I mean, here's the thing. Okay. I, I, we can fill this form out, and I can go at her and lean. The, mm -hmm. the chances of me finding her on a Friday night or an office. Maybe an officer run into her. This is what happens. We write up a report saying she's missing. It gets entered in lean. If she has any kind of contact with any officers, they run her name, it comes back that she's uh, a runaway and that she's ultimately brought back to you. Yeah, okay. I, need, I need her picked up. I need something done with her. I need to figure out what I can do with her. I can't do this anymore. Okay. Well, she's. I mean, I, I mean, what I'm saying is I'm a single mom. I'm trying to do what I can do to do the best. I pay for her to go to a better school. I pay, yeah. you know. Okay. <laughs> give, me, give me one second, okay? Let me get this form, all right? All right, thank you very much. So, I'm going to need your ID, ma'am. Okay, honey. And um, that, just your ID.
Ma'am, can I get you to come over here? Black up here and then blonde down here, two different, um, two tones. Hey. What's up, buddy? Hey, guys. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to put she got black okay. here. It's kind of black with highlights. It's uh, black, but more blonde uh, highlights. Okay. You can see more of the blonde than you will the black one. What, what's the style? Kelly just told me that um, Tommy's girlfriend, Jamie, who well, however, Told Joni that there was a football game up at Eastern. Yeah, it's Friday night. 